Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Rhone River once again. And I tell you, look at our cash flow that's coming here. We have brought in well over 200,000 cash since we have been here. I tell you, this is definitely a good place to make some serious, serious money for this game. Now, one of the things that I need to do at this point is still need to catch different fish species we caught the monster so that's been established There's a lot of them here we haven't caught now just messing around I've managed to find a BR location still haven't got a unique one but at least I found them I have not got a unique Papa I have gotten the unique Brycon there's a lot of uniques I still haven't gotten, which I'm actually very surprised I haven't gotten a flat whiskered catfish as a unique. But I have got the, gotten the gilded. The Oscars I did find a good location for too. I haven't caught one single Payara. The only red peacock bass I've caught is a common. Caught the red tailed barracuda. I've caught the red belly piranha, all versions. Still need a unique red eye piranha. I need a red eye piranha, period, to complete uh, one of my traveling missions. Still do not have the red tail catfish unique. We do have the ripsaw now, and we have all but the unique of the croaker of the sorbums. My understanding a lot of these, you're going to have to catch the, especially with the catfish, you have to catch them at night. It's just the only time you can really get them. And a Trahira, I think you have to catch in the evenings. You're going to have more luck catching them then. I'm not sure if that's exactly the truth, but... I do know that I managed to catch one re red peacock bass over here. While I was fishing for catfish. The problem was is that I was so busy trying to catch catfish that I never really had it. I gotta buy a license. That I never had a chance to really just lure fish. I don't believe you're going to catch them at all bottom fishing. Bottom fishing is really just left over for the catfish. So we are going to go to our lure fishing here. Now I've got a spinner bait here with the Saloon Nymph inch. I did get some peacock bass off of that. It might be worth my while to try. But we are not in a peak and these guys I have a feeling are going to do better on a peak period. So we may need to fast forward time actually quite a bit. What's the next day look like? Okay, it looks like it's going to be rainy but there's going to be peaks early in the day so they're good there might be a good chance of getting one in the early morning. Since we're a little ahead on cash, we can do this. Let's just go to the next morning. That should have taken us out even more. Yep. I have a feeling that I'm going to get them here. I just... I don't know why I do. That's why I keep trying to cast over here, because I just got a good feeling that if I keep at it, that I'm going to get one of those son of a guns. If nothing else, I wouldn't mind getting a unique butterfly. We can try some of the top 
water lures too, but I think this one... Yeah, I just had this feeling about this one. A unique red belly piranha. Now, that's a nice way to start off the day. Already gotten, gotten one, but... When I saw the red, I got a little excited. <laughs> I was like, oh, I got one. Um, not quite. Not quite, but... Now, these guys love a stop and go, and they love a lift and drop, so that's what we really need to work with. We need to try this lure a few times just to see and get something's attention. We already have, obviously, but... I'm telling you, this is a great lure. Silver croaker, huh? These guys are kind of like... I don't know. <laughs> they're a pretty fish, but they're kind of annoying, to be honest. It's like every time I want to get something else, I get a silver croaker. Same with the piranha. Like one out of every twenty so piranha that I catch are red eye, and I need a red eye. You can see it on my Marone River exploration too. I really need one. Complete that. I've actually got two rods that I can use here, so if I want to switch off to the other one, I can. It should be able to handle pretty much anything that's going to bite over here off these lures. Interesting thing is, un probably only the Trahira is the only one that will probably give you any real good fight off of the lure here. Most of the big fish here are bottom feeders. Maybe not the Piara, but I haven't seen one yet. What have I got on my other rod here? I'm trying to remember. Okay, I've got a bullfrog popper. I don't know about that. So I just recently got these club series medium spoons. That might do good. Got a mark. Might try a walker too. This one I have to let's see. What is it? One six to one fifth. I think I've got a small walker here. Yeah, three fourths ounce, and I got the patriotic. Patriotic's always been a very good lure. I've caught a lot of asps over in um, Italy with them. They really seem to like it. I'm kind of hoping the apapa do too. Like I said, I've gotten all the Apapas except for the Uniques. They often seem to like they're out in the open water. They kind of like, in my opinion, kind of like the Asp of the South America waterways. <laughs> they're usually out in open water and great fighters. Oh, okay. That's a fairly big fish. I was getting ready to slow it down and then something just hit it. No idea what it might be. I think it might be an Apapa. I was right. The Apapa do go for them. I think I need to take this down a little bit though, because he could have snapped the line quite easily. Wrong thing. Yeah, let's take it down just a little bit, because he wasn't even a big one.
Let's try two notches. Yeah, I just gotta find what they want. Ooh, okay, there we go. I was right about the rock. Yeah, I'm thinking this might be another Apapa. Yep, it is. Still regular size. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's go just beyond that darn thing. I'm going to try this one more time and then I'm going to switch back over to the other one. Sometimes switching lures can make all the difference in the world, guys. The peaks here are going to be kind of short. Right now I'm not grinding for cash. Right now I'm trying to catch the species. Nope. Yep. Nothing that time. What did I get the red peacock bass on last time? That's the question. Alright, let's see here. Well, that's a unique rip saw. One more. Oh, I keep grabbing the wrong one. There we go. Okay, I got him off a of buzz bait. I used to crawl that time. I think I mainly used to crawl because it's all I had. Why am I? Why do I have this rod? Oh, that's a flow rod, I'm sorry. Well, we can put that back on. I'm going to leave this on there, honestly. But I think I'm going to replace it with Buzzbait. Wouldn't let me leave it on there. Well, either Saloon Nymph or the Nymph 4. We don't have the X series Nymph. That's supposed to be the ideal one. That's why I use an event one. And. It was the one closer to shore where I caught him. So right here. I think I did Oh, retrieve too. Like only one. There we go. Thought I'd switch off the twitching and I think that was a good move on my part. What have we got here? A big croaker. Unique Silver Croaker! Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Alright. Well, I actually caught one of the nuisances in the size I wanted here. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's take a look at this fella. There he is. That way we can catch his shininess. His shininess... All right, we'll keep him. All right, that's not too bad. We'll just keep fishing up alongside this bank. Keep it as close to the bank as possible, and hopefully we can get something else. Maybe that red peacock. That'd be nice. Oh, so, there we go. 
What do we got here? A Payara! Finally! Good lord, I have been trying to locate these for, well, weeks, honestly. It's the first one I've caught. Right here. Huh. Well, I'll be darned. 1367. That's just for the common. That's not bad, guys. Challenge complete. Novice Potomologist of the Maroon River. Catch all the fish species of common form in the Maroon River. Got a bait coin for that. Not bad. Well, I tell you what, guys. This is a good spot to just keep tossing your lure out here. That's for darn sure. Kind of seems like you'll get just about anything. Gotta just keep throwing it towards that rock. Alright guys, I think we're getting close to the end of the peak here. Yep. Probably about time to advance. Time to the next peak, which is about 7 p.m. Yeah, things are kind of slowing down. I mean, we're getting the occasional red belly piranha, but I want to do a little bit more than that. Yeah, just keep consistent with the retrieve and, you know, switch it up every now and then. We've been trying walkers. We've We've tried the buzz baits here. We've tried crankbaits here. Crankbait got me a ripsaw catfish of unique size. So, switching them up seems to make a difference. Ah, uh, oh, okay. That's, that's big. That's big, whatever it is. Let's see what we got here, guys. We have us a Piara, and a good size one, too. This is at least a trophy. If I can pick the dead gun thing up, why well, just walk? Yeah, I just walk up to it. Trophy Payara. Yep. Thirty-five twenty-four. They are worth a lot of cash. That's two of them I've caught here, guys. So this is definitely a Piara location. I got it with the buzz bait and the spitter bait, I believe, last time. I have to check back. I'm not sure when I switched, but I might have to try some float fishing with some minnows later on over here. See what that does. It's a lousy cast. Uh, go ahead and set a mark for that because. I want that to be a marked location. You hit the plus and minus keys, that zooms in a lot faster than trying to use the scroll button. Okay, where was he? Right here? He's further back, alright. I just wanted to see exactly where he was so I can keep casting that direction. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I think I'm going to go ahead and switch over to float fishing. I need a little bit bigger hook. At least a 6 eye, and we need minnows. That's what I caught them with the Maku Maku. At least that's what I caught the uniques with. 40 inches for the leader. I want to get a little bit closer to that rock, too. That should get it out there. Maybe, maybe, maybe we can get a unique Piara and get that completed. Okay, something is chasing it. Yeah, the uh, minnows, they drag it around quite a bit, but not like that. Uh, I don't know. It could be just about anything. It could even be a piranha, but 
It is not a piranha. It's definitely bigger than that. I don't think it's a piara though. Just not quite big enough. Oh, it's a flat whiskered catfish and a good size too. There we go! A unique flat whiskered catfish. That's the second new unique I've gotten. Gotten a unique silver croaker and a unique flat whiskered catfish. Let's take a look at this guy. 15.166 pounds. He is a personal record. Which means that's a personal record here and at Maku Maku. Let me see if I can't get a decent picture here. It's hard to get the lighting right. There we go. That's not too bad, guys. Two brand new uniques in one session so far. Alright, guys. I've been at this for a little while now. Switched over to the Patriotic Walker to see if we could get something different. There we go. Now this looks like it's really big, but this is the smaller rod. I had to switch to that in order to use the Patriotic because it is only about a half an ounce lure. But the Apapa have been going for it. I've gotten quite a few of the regular size of those, but this might be a little bit bigger. Have not gotten a unique Apapa yet. This could be big enough. No, trophy. Yeah, I have gotten trophy ones. Well, we could switch to something else. Maybe something a little bit bigger. Let's try this one. This is a one ounce walker. A little smaller than the ones I've used in the past. I usually use two ounce ones over here. Haven't gotten a lot of hits off of those. But I'll at least give this a minute here and see what happens. Alright guys, I went back to float fishing and we are starting to get another bite. Walkers just seem to be getting piranha and the occasional silver croaker but since it's late at night I'm almost certain we might get us a PR or something because this is the top of the peak here guys well, we got something fairly decent it's an Apapa and it's a unique Apapa all right New personal record, first unique of Papa, and the third new unique of the evening. Technically four uniques if you count the red-bellied piranha, but I'm not sure why I hit the picture there. But let's try to get a better picture than that. Nah. Spin this thing around. Get in some better lighting. Don't get the sticks in front of us. I wish you could move the guy over. Alright, I think that's probably about as good as we're going to get it. There we go. Unique a papa. Well, it wasn't too bad. We're getting near the end of the peak. Probably going to have to end this session here soon because, yeah, it's almost over. But we've gotten the Unica Papa. We've gotten up to Trophy Biaras. We've got the Unique Flat Whiskered. We've got up to Trophy Piaras. And we got the Unique Silver Croaker. We've still got quite a few Uniques here to get, guys. The Trahir is going to be a hard one. I just have a feeling it's going to be a tough one. As is the Red Peacock Bass. 
but we're almost done with this night session. After that, I think it's going to end up going back to catfish. But we'll give it a little try up until as late as we can. Well, that's it, guys. It's night. Yeah, we might have a chance of getting a PR of it. I'm going to check to see what the peak looks like at night. Let me see here. Well, there's a decent peak at the beginning of the night. We could still get a Piara. But this is still probably a good place to end this. Well, guys, that's not too bad, though. Like I said, managed to get three brand new uniques in one session. But I think we're going to need to bring this to a close. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.